What's up everybody, it's your boy Jeff, back in with another video, and today we're going to be talking about using any Android controller with your Tello drone. Now there's been a lot of problems now, you know what I'm saying, there's only one type of uh, controller where it works under Android for the Tello, but I found a little software, a little, you know what I'm saying, um, control assistant, control assistant software, or controller mapping, it's called Octopus. So we're going to check it out. It'll allow you, hopefully, to use any of your older um, Bluetooth controllers for your Android. I have the Map Cats that I have for like for three, four years. Uh, you can also use your, your PS3, PS4 and connect, but you have to connect it through your USB using a OTG cable to your phone. Just, you know, you're going to have cables involved. But the problem was, you know, saying using almost any type of uh, Android type of controller for your Tello. It was only working for the Apple type of controller. So with this software, with this app, it's called Octopus. Boom, we're going to let it happen. And we're going to map our controller to the Tello app. And, it's, and it should work. At least for the controllers, for the joystick controllers, it should work. So let me show you guys how to do it. Okay, guys, so this is it. First thing we're going to do, we're going to download the app. The app is called Octopus. I just downloaded it. So, you know, see you. O C T O P U S Octopus, a little octopus insignia there. So we're gonna open it for the first time. Now, the first thing you do before you even open it, see right there on top it says one device connected. Connect your device into your phone, your Bluetooth controller, whichever one you use for your Android. Connect it first through your Bluetooth. You already know how to do that. And then the second part, once you open it up, you're gonna see this page, and it says a little box here under my games, add game. So we're going to add a game. You're going to the list of all your apps on your phone. And of course, we're looking for Tello, which is right here. So you see it, Tello, right on the title. So we click Tello, hit Add, and boom, it jumps into your My Games, and now you have Tello. Now, second part, you're going to click on Tello. Boom, you get this. F10 keyboard text input. Just ignore it. Just hit OK. You get this line here. You're going to have to accept. And we're here in the Tello app. Now, on the left upper hand side, left hand side, you see a little ghost coming out, a little octopus with two little eyes coming out. So you're going to click on that. And you're going to get this box in the middle. And this is the way we're going to tag our controllers. So basically what it is, is going to map it. So the first thing I did on mine is I used the left joystick. And you see how this comes out? So you're going to put it under the left hand side right here. Kind of line it up right there perfectly with the Tello app, you know, left side. And then we're going to click on the right side. And I'm going to line it up with the right side right there. And then we're going to use some of the buttons on the controller so how let's say i want to use the camera see on top you got the camera and you got the photo right so that's what we want to do so let's hit on the a key a and then you're going to get this right and then you're going to go into your controller and let's say you want to map the photo on the top left hand side so let's say let's do um r1 for the photo so I click on the R1 on my controller, as you can see in the camera right here, and that's RB. Now, what we got to do is, if that's going to be mapping our photo, we're going to grab our unit and go to the photo clicking right there. Let's try to line it perfectly. So basically, that's it. I don't know. Got thick fingers, so it's hard for me to like, you know... <laughs> But I mean that's close enough. Once you once you're right on top of it, you'll be all right. And then uh, we're gonna do one for the video. So let's hit the A key again, and let's say that the video we want it to be uh, left B L B. So we're gonna click here on L B, and that'll be for the video. So let's move our unit to the video. Boom right there. Oh. Not perfect line. That's better. That's almost perfect. Let's align this other one a little better here. Okay, that's perfect. Now, 
about um, the takeoff over here. So let's hit a button for the takeoff. So let's hit the A key again. And let's say I use the Y button on my controller. So let's click on Y. And you see Y comes up in the circle as soon as I hit it. And let's move this. And I, I'll make that my takeoff button. So which is this right here. So you see what we're doing, guys? We're mapping the controller, the tele controllers here. And once we're done with that, I think that's basically it. That's all you need to do. You're going to hit the fold button right here on top. There's a little arrow right in the middle so this could disappear. And it is set up completely now. So you can use it with your controller. So we have everything set up right now. Click activate. It's going to say to authorize it. You're going to authorize it. And that's it. I mean, basically what we're going to do now is we're going to take our Tello. You're going to connect it to your phone using Wi-Fi like you always do and once it's connected you go back into your app right all right so why see how that came up hey why and then the the unit is gonna pop up so here we go we're gonna test it out we hit why we're gonna take them up for a spin so it goes right there let's bring them down so I'm gonna bring them down little by little you guys can see him. I don't know if you can see him in the camera there. Huh? Can you see him? <laughs> so you know what? Let me bring the camera over here like this. Let me bring him towards me. You guys can get a better view of him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There he goes right there. See that? So, as you guys can see, I'm going I'm to line him up here. I'm going to spin him around. See that? There you go. I'm going to take him up. Bring them down. So it's working perfect. It's a slight delay, but it's working perfectly with the joystick. So there it is, guys. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, we got the drone working with any Android controller using the Octopus app. So it's, it, it does work. You know what I'm saying? It works just fine. Push it back, forward. You know what I'm saying? Back again. There you go. Up and down. So, it's a go, guys. Now, let's check the camera. Remember that I set up R1 and R2. So, let's do photo. Uh, you can hear the photo. And let's do video. And now it's doing video also. You can see it started recording the video. So, the two buttons that we set up, R1 and R2, and L, no, LB and RB, we set it up and they're working just fine. So, only thing, you know, the app, sometimes you may lose a little video. They get a little chopped up. But you know what? The main reason we got is to use the joysticks on any Android phone. So this will work with any controller. Like I said before, let's land this, baby. It's too loud. Let's just land them. Put it in my hand. I'm going to bring them down. And voila. Whoa. I landed them. So, guys, it's a go. The Octopus app, you can use your PS4 controller, but you have to have it wired to your phone with an OTG cable. Or you can use any, there's a Matt Cats, like I said before, there's an older one that I had for many years. I use it again because it came with a built-in stand to hold up your phone, but I had this for, for, for three years. And without the app, it will never work, you know what I'm saying? So once I downloaded the Octopus app, I mapped all the buttons and... It works just fine, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you save yourself, you know, whatever. Because there's no controller that actually works for it. There's the, you know, game, sir. And that sucker is, like, almost impossible to get. And it only works for the Tello. At least this, you keep your old controller. You can play it for all your games and use it also on your Tello. So anyway, guys, till next time, you know, it's your boy Jeff. See ya.